Hey everyone, I'm Arbazir and welcome to a brand new Civilization 5 Brave New World game. So, this is the game that won the poll. It was 1% ahead of Venice, so it was a very close call, but the room won, and I'm quite happy that it did. So, just to remind you what the game settings we're playing on. We're playing on a large map with Scandinavia template. This is part of the Scrambled Nations and Continents map pack. We are also playing with Info Addict, more Luxuries and more Pantheons and Smart AI mods. You can find a list of mods I'm using in the video description below, as usual. So, let's get started then. We are also playing on Epic Game Pace and Dated Difficulty as always. So, let's do this. This is actually a lake right here, which makes me consider moving. I could definitely move at least here, but I'm actually considering checking out the east side of these hills. Maybe I can find a better location for my capital over there. I will lose a turn or two, but I think it's worth doing. I won't really get any good tiles on the north side or on the west side. No luxuries at least, and I don't care about the deer all that much. Okay, let's check this out. What did we see? We got sheep to the east. This is yet another lake. So I could settle on top of this hill, or I could settle on top of the plains. I think I would prefer to settle on top of the hill because I don't have that much food around here. So, saving the planes for a farm will be kind of useful. Alright, I'm going to settle right here. Unless I see something better to the east. I could also move into this hill, but I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. These are both decent options, I suppose. I have no idea what's to the south, and I also have no idea what's to the east. This is a tough call. Okay, let's actually move here, because that will give us the planes right away on turn 1. And if I settle here, I'll only have one tile with decent food. The sheep, that's only one food. I can always work the lake, but I can do that in any of these locations. Okay, let's go down here. Well, that was a bit of a waste of time. I was hoping to get some decent tiles in here, but I didn't. Alright, I'm going to start my city. There's no point waiting anymore. We do have wheat, silver and sheep in range, I just didn't get any good tiles down here. Well, you never know, there might be something good just inside the fog of war. We'll find out once we get our scout. So, let's get started on the scout. I do have the deer, so that's free food. And since we're playing with improved luxuries, this is on the jungle tile. So, scout first. And we'll go for pottery. Alright, let's go then. And I'm saying that because the improved luxuries mod doesn't only add new luxuries, it also changes the resource distribution on terrain. That's why this is a jungle tile. That's part of the mod. We got culture, very nice. So I'm going to pick tradition. No experimenting in this game. I see no reason to go for anything other than tradition really. Even though Rome is pretty good at playing wide. But you just get so many benefits from tradition that I'm not really going for anything else. That doesn't mean liberty isn't viable, it definitely is. I mean, I won games on DT with liberty, but tradition is just flat out better. So there we go, tradition. Now we wait for our scout and get as many ruins as possible. Hopefully we can get something nice. Might as well kill this guy, since we're already here. So, fingers crossed for some good tiles, just inside the fog of war. I hope moving my settler was worth it. Oh, there's a barbarian come right next to my capital, okay. I should get rid of that before some new units spawn in there. Let's do that then, I'll send my warrior first, and let's scout around. No decent tiles down here so far? Oh well. So, I'll get started on the worker and switch this to shrine, once I finish pottery research. As for the worker assignment, I guess I'll actually work the lake just to make Rome grow as fast as possible. That makes sense. Let's grab the gold and go find... Oh, there's a city-state right here. Okay. Hmm. That means I might want to grab some of these tiles before the city-state border expands. Yeah, I would definitely like to get the river tile because that's decent food. But that involves spending money to actually buy it, which I can't afford at the moment. 
All right, this is still a lake right here. I think we're on the eastern part of the map. Certainly looks that way. We'll find out, I guess, but I'm pretty sure we're in the east. Just judging from all these lakes. This is still a lake. Okay, this is coast. But no, I think this is still a lake. And it only counts as an ocean because of this. We'll see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in the east part of Scandinavia. I'm about 99% sure that's the case. So let's grab that ruin. See if we can get something nice. Some faith would be nice. And yeah, that hand axe can't attack me on the next turn, but it will probably move towards me. Let's go find some neighbors. Pottery will be done on the next turn. I'll switch it to the shrine. I won't be waiting for the worker to finish. I need to get my Pantheon ASAP. The sooner the better. So 12 turns for the shrine, that's not too bad. Another barbarian camp and another ruin. Right, what do we need for luxuries? We need mining, I suppose. Yep. So, anything else in here? There's another city-state. Can I grab that ruin? The archer will probably move back into the camp. Oh! The Mongols are neighbors, okay. That means there will be wars early on. Yeah, that's an aggressive neighbor to have. I'll just have to deal with it then. I need to secure some city locations that are easy to defend. Because they will attack me. They are actually pretty damn close to me. This is their second city, not their capital. But this is very close to my capital. Can this archer get out of here? I want to load the ruins. But I don't want to get killed. Let's move back one tile. And see if he's going to move towards us. That's legalism. I'm almost considering getting a second scout right now. Will he move? Yes, he's moving. I just need to move around, kind of. I hope he won't move back into the ruins. I need to grab that ruin. Without having my scout killed. Oh, the Mongols killed him. Okay, nice. And we got sailing. Awesome. That's actually very good because I usually don't research that early. And we got another plus ferry culture. Very nice. So we will actually get the first policy or the second policy, landed elite, in a few turns. That's one of the earliest landed elite that I had. Like ever. Which is always helpful because that's extra growth. Oh yeah, pop free. I need to get a worker ASAP to improve all of this. Especially the wheat. And I'll need to get a granary to take advantage of wheat. More. Okay, Germany is our second neighbor to the north from the looks of it. Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of this starting location. I was hoping to have more luxuries in this general area, but there aren't that many. Yeah, even if I moved around with my settler more, I wouldn't really find a better city location. There's a marble down here, so at least there's that. Another barbarian camp. No, I'm not selling my embassy, especially not to the Mongols, that would be a terrible idea. And yeah, so much for my scout, unfortunately. I guess I'll just get another scout after the shrine. Because, yeah, I need to find more ruins. And I need to explore, I need to find other civilizations. Shame that I lost the scout, but I suppose it happens. Not the end of the world. Let's go find more neighbors. As for the research, I don't need any more technologies. For luxuries, I guess I'll just go for archery and then for writing. I don't need calendar right now. There are no luxuries that would require it. Here's another neighbor. He's to the north. Yeah, I'm 99% sure now that we're in the east. So I need to go west to get access to proper ocean. I should probably think about securing a coastal location for a city somewhere. So I will settle towards the ocean once I actually find it. Because that will be useful later in the game. And I'm already thinking about my potential conquests later in the game. It will be much easier if we actually have a proper coastal city, especially with good production. That will be the best location. Good coastal city with good production potential. 
So let's go west. Unfortunately, this is not a scout, that's a warrior. So it will take him a while to move through all that forest. I hope he'll find some more ruins. But it kind of sucks that I lost that scout early on. Oh well. Let's explore a little bit more. Yeah, no good tiles to the west. But if I settled on spot, this wouldn't be much better. Yeah, changing my location didn't really do anything. I mean, I can get access to that tile next to a river. I guess I'll buy that. But that's about it, really. If I settled on spot, I would have access to all these tiles. I could just chop the forest. That's a grassland over there. Yeah, moving my settler didn't really change anything at all. Alright, I'll let that worker finish and then we'll get started on the settler. I'm resetting into production to get that worker out faster. Another city state. I'm not a big fan of the starting location. Definitely not. I've had better, let's just say. But I don't like having Mongols this close. But having a city state between me and the Mongols will definitely help. That city state can act as a buffer, hopefully. And this is a nice choke point. I'm actually considering settling a city right here between these two lakes. That would be pretty good for defense. Oh, this is a militaristic city state. What are they specialized in? Companion cavalry. Okay, that would be quite useful. I only need horseback riding for that, right? Yes, only horseback riding. Okay, I wouldn't mind getting allied with that city-state. I need to get some useful quests from them. Right now there are none. Another city-state. Let's just go through their territory. So I guess this is proper ocean now? I think so. I need to find some good city location. And I think I'll just settle towards there. Again, just to get access to the ocean. My worker is almost done. I might actually start from the wheat first. Or not, from the mine. Since obviously city can't grow while he's working on the settler and that will take 15 turns. And I should change these assignments around a bit, but I already ended my turn. How's our Pantheon coming along? We're nowhere close to the Pantheon yet. We didn't find any faith from ruins, unfortunately. Okay, let's change this around a little bit. So like this, this one, and that's 14 turns, that didn't really change a whole lot. I don't think I can speed it up anymore. 13 turns, okay, I guess that's decent enough. And where do I want that city? Either to the east in this choke point, or to the west to settle towards the ocean. These are both good options. Oh, Shaka is in this game, okay. This is an interesting set of civilizations so far. I got the Mongols, I got Shaka. This is going to be an interesting game. Any game with Shaka is an interesting game on DT. <laughs> but when the Mongols stop, the Mongols tend to be quite aggressive. And they have one of the best unique units in the game. Unfortunately, the AI can take advantage of that very well. But it's still a very strong unique unit regardless. 10 more turns. I need to reveal this area a little bit. It looks like I could settle a city on the lake and next to a mountain at the same time. But I need to reveal that area a little bit more. Oh yeah, and we got a quest from that militaristic city-state. To get rid of the barbarian camp somewhere? Which one is it? Oh, this one. Okay. I'll probably just buy an archer to take care of that. Yeah, let's just buy an archer. That's what I usually do anyway. That will make things easier and I'll need some basic defenses. Just in case barbarians attack me. I have a lot of forest to chop. That's also nice. I will chop some of this forest. I don't need that many forest tiles. But I am going to need food. Yeah, this city doesn't have very good population potential right now. Unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. I could actually settle a city right here. And th then I could settle a city right here. So that means I would be able to move between these lakes freely. And I would be able to use cargo ships. That's actually a pretty good idea. 
This is a little bit close to the city-state, but it's still a good location for a city. And this city would have an observatory. The downside is that it wouldn't bring any luxuries. Still, it would give me some decent trade route options. For internal trade routes, that is. So I'm considering it. This location with the marble looks pretty solid too. I could have a city next to a river with marble. So that's a pretty good location too. Not the best one I've ever seen, but it's decent enough for me. Writing is done, let's grab Animal Husbandry. Actually, let's grab Bronze Working. Because I need to reveal Iron on the map. I need Iron for the Legion, my unique unit. And that might affect my city placement decisions, knowing where Iron is. Okay, I definitely want that location on the coast now, because that will give me two unique luxury resources, marble and citrus. Not the highest production city I've ever seen, but it will give me a decent coastal city. And I'm going to need that. So, right now my plan for cities... Hmm. I'm actually not so sure. If I want to settle this city, I would have to go directly there, probably. I'm not sure if I want to go east or west first. I still want to settle right here. Oh, there's a barbarian camp there now. And the city-state wants that, okay. I guess I'll grab that. This is also a militaristic city-state. Oh, they want me to find Shaka. Well, that shouldn't be too hard then. What are they specialized in? No, this is a maritime city-state, not militaristic one. I was looking at the quest icon. So let's kill this guy. I'll just keep my scout here. Just to loot it, as soon as I kill that guy. I'm going to need another archer or two. Oh great, barbarians are coming. That's a little bit awkward, because my archer is busy with the barbarian camp. Alright, I'll get started on that mine regardless. They can't capture my worker on the next turn, because this is a hill. I'll just move back. But this is a little bit awkward. Okay, they are not moving towards me, that's good. Now, let's get under archer. I need to get started on the li library. I'm almost tempted to try building Temple of Artemis because I have some really decent production. Still, that's 26 turns, the AI will probably beat me to it. It's close to impossible to get Temple of Artemis on DT, especially without Marvel. So now, do I go east or west? I want to secure this location because that will give me two unique luxury resources. I think it's better to go west. I can always grab this a little bit later. And I don't want to settle towards the Mongols. Hmm. I might buy this tile. Oh no, I can't. This is too far away from the city-state. Anyway, I'm going west. To get that location on the coast with two luxuries. I need that city to grow. So I, I need to settle it as soon as possible. Yeah, Temple of Artemis is gone on turn 54. On epic game pace. It's close to impossible to get that one there on Deity. Unless you have marble. And even then, it's pretty damn hard. Maybe if I chopped a few forests and had marble, then focused fully on production, but even then, it's very hard. And you probably have to go for aristocracy just to get the wonder production bonus. Right, still need to kill these guys for the city-state bonus. I want to get myself allied, or at least friendly, with these two militaristic city-states, because I'll need some defenses against the Mongols. The Mongols will almost definitely attack me at some point, because that's what they usually do. And getting friendly with city-states, with militaristic city-states, will give me some defenses. So, monarchy. For more turns for bronze working. I hope we'll have some iron. I need iron for my unique unit. If I don't get iron, I'll have to buy it from someone. Because I'll definitely need my unique units, that's for sure. They are actually pretty damn good. Promotion. Now we can go back and deal with that barbarian. I'll escort my settler with the scout. Not the best escort I've ever seen, but it's... Good enough, I guess. It kind of isn't, but I don't have a big choice. I'm keeping Roman production because I want to finish that library ASAP. I'll just switch it to food once it's done. Also, that was not a good move. Hmm. I'll have to move towards that hand axe. Because if he kills my scout, 
while he's on top of the settler, my settler will also get captured. Then again, if I fortify on top of a forest, he will have better defense. Tough call. Let's try it like this. If I lose my settler, I'm kind of screwed. But I think I will be fine. Come on. He will definitely attack me. Okay, I'm fine. Now I need to move out of the way. And fast. I still need to move east with that archer though. I just need to settle that city ASAP. And then kill that barbarian with city bombardment. I'll probably settle right here between the marble and the deer. No, I'm not giving embassy to Shaka, that's for sure. I could buy an embassy from him for one gold per ten. Just to finish the city-state quest. But I don't want to let him know where my capital is. Unless I know that he's far away from me. I think he's far away from me. Okay, let's do it to see where his capital is. I normally wouldn't give him an embassy. Okay, he's nowhere close to me. That's good. And that should give me influence with the city-state. What's next? We need animal husbandry just to see horses on the map. Can we finish this money yet? Two more turns. Then I can get some extra money. I'll probably sell the gems to the Mongols. Just to try getting friendly with them. I don't want them to attack me too early in the game. That's bad. Let's explore north a little bit. And go take care of that archer. I'm getting a caravan from Germany, so that's always nice. That's giving me plus 4 science. Which is like what? 50% of my total science output. I could swap gems for spices, but I think I prefer gold at this stage of the game. In fact, I definitely prefer gold at this stage of the game. Also, it looks like we might not actually get a pantheon in this game, but we'll see about that. If someone reforms their religion before we get a pantheon, then yeah, we won't have a chance to get that, unfortunately. Alright, so how's the room doing? One more turn for that library. Let's switch this to food now. So, like this. Yeah, I need to get some farms. I need to get more farms. I guess I'll just work the gems for now. Yeah, that's the best I can do in this situation. This is the only downside of my city location. It has fairly low food potential. I can get a lot of grasslands if I chop all these forests. And I probably will. That's all grassland tiles under these forest tiles. Yep, these are all grasslands, so that's not too bad. And that's a lot of forest to chop to speed up the production. Okay, we need granary next, if only to take advantage of wheat with a farm, which will be done in 9 turns. And that's going to be our second city. I usually don't settle this far away from my capital, but this was a really good location. I will have to wait to actually get that citrus, because that's 4 tiles away from my city. But I should be able to get that still. I don't think a city-state will steal that, because it's a little bit too far. Hmm. I really don't want to settle on top of the marble, and I don't want to miss out on the river. And if I settle right here, I will get the fish to the north. This is exactly three tiles away from me. Unfortunately, Germany stole the iron. Anyway, let's settle right here. So... I guess we'll get started on the library ASAP. I would prefer to not have to buy it for 550 gold. I might settle one more city before I get started on National College. Possibly right here. I'm not too excited about this location, but I would like to get it regardless because that will allow me to send cargo ships to Rome. And use internal trade routes to give Rome a boost a little bit later in the game. I could also settle to the east. I need to reveal this area a bit. I want to grab the iron right here. That's 6 iron. So... Right here on the river, next to the wheat. Seems like the most reasonable location. I could also settle on this side, which will be 3 times away from iron. Which is still close enough, but then I'll miss out on the stone. I'll miss out on 2 tiles with stone if I settle here instead of here. I'm not sure, I need to think about it, but I definitely want a location roughly around here that will give me both iron and horses. That's going to be a pretty good city. As for research, I guess I'll just go straight for philosophy now. I don't need any of this. Nope, not really. Alright then, so philosophy next. 
Seven more turns for that mine. I'm not sure if I want to wait for that greenery. I think I'll wait for the CD to grow to pop 5 and then switch to Settler. I need to secure these locations before the AI does. And now I'm not giving embassy to the Mongols, that's for sure. I don't want them to know where my capital is. They got iron, so that's kind of unfortunate. They will definitely be afraid, that's for sure. And I'll have to deal with it. That's going to be the first war. Most likely. I hope they have some other neighbor, other than me. Because then I could get them into a war with someone. It's a shame Shaka is not close to them. It would be very easy to get Shaka to fight with the Mongols. But they are a little bit far away from each other. Alright, let's explore with that scout, but I'll heal myself first. How many turns? Six turns for the granary, two turns for the city to grow. I'll finish the granary once my settler is done. I'm just waiting for the city to grow to pop 5. Because that will give me a little bit of extra production. Oh, and yeah, there are horses next to my capital. So, I guess moving was in fact a good idea in the end. Because if I didn't move my settler, I wouldn't get the horses. Not the best style ever, but hey, it's decent. It was worth moving just to get this. Two more turns, right, I'm switching this. Or do I want to finish that granary? I don't think it will make a major difference. I'd rather get that settler out faster. I can finish the granary once the settler is done. Let's explore south. I need to explore Shaka's area a little bit. Just to see how hard he's going to be. Later in the game, I'll have to deal with him. At some point in this game, that's for sure. More iron. I'll probably have to settle one city between Antium and Rome. Just to be able to connect it with the road, so probably around here, on the river, I should secure this before Germany does. Yeah, city settling order will be kind of important in this game. I'm actually having some second thoughts about which location to settle next. I do want to secure the iron and the horses. I think I'll have to settle here and then between Antium and Rome. And I still want to get this and maybe this. I see quite a few really good locations for cities, honestly. Okay, 13 turns for Settler, I can speed that up a bit. So this goes here. I could chop the forest to speed up the Settler. That's not a terrible idea, actually. 12 turns. That farm will be done in 2 turns, I'll just let him finish that. Alright, this was a decent opening. Not the best one I've ever had. But it's not too bad, I still need to get rid of that barbarian camp. To get the influence with city-state. There's another city state to the south, and I actually found a ruin, okay. I didn't actually think I'll find any more ruins. Wow, this is a really good location too. Look at this. Silk, a lot of iron, well, only four. Tobacco. Now I want to sell here. Oh, and this is... A coast? Yes, that's not a lake. That's proper ocean. No, tobacco is inside Brussels. But this is still a really good location for a city. I kind of want to settle that, but it's not that close to my capital. Hmm. Right, let's chop a forest. I'll definitely chop... No, this is a tundra, never mind that. Let's chop one of these. I mean, I'm going to need some grasslands. I can't just leave all these forest tiles around here. I have quite a few city states around me. This is actually going to help me. Because these city-states will kind of defend me against the Mongols. Unless the Mongols themselves get allied with them. But hopefully not, I got two militaristic city-states very close to me. What's the other one specialized in? That's no, that's just a quest again, damn it. I keep looking at this quest icon and keep thinking that's a militaristic city-state. But only Sofia is an actual militaristic city-state. I hope I'll get some unit from them before I lose my friendly status. Okay, so which tile do we want to chop? Probably the one with fresh water access, that definitely makes sense. Let's go get rid of that barbarian camp already. Nine more turns for the settler. If I chop the forest, that will definitely be faster. I'll chop all the forests that have access to fresh water. And start getting farms there. Another ruin, awesome. Hey, maybe I can actually find more ruins still. Okay, let's explore this area and get rid of the barbarian camp. Yeah, Germany settled that, damn it. 
they stole my iron. This is going to be problematic. I had no chance to beat them to it, unfortunately. There was just no way. I got a map, yay? Okay, there's some iron down there, but City State is going to steal that. Unless I really hurry up with this. If I set my settler directly here, I could secure some iron. This is such a good location for a city. But my cities will be so spread out if I settle that. Still, this is the best location in this general area, by far. It would give me silk, not only for myself, but also for trade. It would give me a lot of food, decent production. The only problem is that I can't settle with both of these iron tiles in range. Unless I lose the cost, but I definitely don't want that. But regardless, this is a really good location. I could settle next to this iron, but it's definitely better to have a coastal city instead. 17 turns for that library. Yeah, this needs to grow a little bit more. Alright then. So I think this is a good moment to cut this video. So I'm going to continue this in the next part. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.